All right, so this is how you can use the Minimax Audio text-to-speech feature to convert text into speech. So this tool is very similar to Eleven Labs, and in some ways, I would say it's even better than Eleven Labs. Now, to try Minimax Audio, you can navigate to this URL, and I'm going to leave the link in the video description. And basically, you can create a free account, and just like in Eleven Labs, you will get 10,000 credits just to try this tool if you're using the free version of Minimax Audio. And after that, you can navigate to text to speech. And this is the text that I'm going to use for the demonstration. Now, to select the audio or select the voice, you can click on this section. Oh, by the way, let's just focus on the model first. So you can select the model that you want to use. You can select a speech to HD, the speech to turbo, etc. But right now, the latest and greatest model is this one speech zero to HD. But if you're watching this video in the far future, there could be even bigger version uh, feel free to use that but in this case i'm going to be using speech to hd and for the voice you can click here and there are plenty of voices that you could choose from so there is a man woman there's also a specific accent or dialect but in this case i'm going to be using uh, let's try the same voice which is expressive narrator i'm going to be using this one in the quiet of dusk every whispered secret of the okay that sounds good and here there is the option for voice modifier there is also emotion but i'm not going to change any setting yet so let's just use the, the default setting and later i'm going to change a few settings and show you the result now uh, you can also send text from a document or a url so you can click on this button and you can put a url or a document that, that contains the text that you, you want to turn into audio and also, this is a unique feature from Minimax Audio. You can insert up to 200,000 characters. That is not even possible in the premium version of Eleven Labs. I think in Eleven Labs, you have a limit of, I think, 5,000 or something. I'm not sure about that. Uh, but there is a quite a limit. Okay, 5,000 characters. Again, not something that you can do in Eleven Labs, but in Minimax Audio, you can do it just fine, up to 200,000 characters. But keep in mind that it's going to take even longer to uh, convert that content into audio. Now, again, uh, let's just use the default setting, and I guess I'm going to click Generate and show you the result for this default setting. Hello, Clara, came the voice she'd been both dreading and longing to hear. And when she finally raised her eyes to meet his, she realized that some stories never truly end. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Now, let's play around with some settings. Oh, by the way, if you want to download this audio, you can click on this button. Now, uh, I'm going to change a few settings here. I'm going to click here. And yeah, I can make this voice deeper or lighter, stronger, softer. Uh, let's, let's just adjust the uh, voice. I'm going to make it lighter. And let's make it to be sound to sound more robotic. Let's regenerate. Hello, Clara, came the voice she'd been both dreading and longing to hear. And when she finally raised her eyes to meet his, she realized that some stories never truly end. All right, it's actually sound pretty good. But keep in mind that right now, if you're using the free version, uh, this option is only available for a limited time there is this free trial so you can only use it up to six times but beyond that you have to pay for the subscription i think it's very cheap only five dollar a month again just like uh Elef just like elephant laughs but considering all the features it's probably realized that some stories never okay now let's go with emotion this is actually one of my favorite features uh, by default, it's going to be using the auto mode, but you can change the audio, the tone of the voice. So let's make it to be happy. Or you know what? Let's try something else. Let's try angry. And let's click generate. Hello, Clara, came the voice she'd been both dreading and longing to hear. And when she finally raised her eyes to meet his, she realized that some stories never truly end. Okay, so this is... A nice feature but again as you just hear it's not really uh prominent i would say it's very subtle it's not easily detectable so most of the time as at least for me the auto mode the auto setting is just doing a great job now let's move on with another setting that you can change which is the speed pitch and volume now let's increase the speed a bit i'm going to make it to be 1.2 
around that number and the pitch is let's make it a bit higher and the volume is also uh, higher let's generate all right it is taking more time apparently but that's okay Okay, network disconnected. Uh, I don't know why it's happening because my network is still connected just fine, still working just fine. So yeah, sorry about that. But... Hello, Clara. Okay. Came the voice she'd been both dreading and longing to hear. And when she finally raised her eyes to meet his, she realized that some stories never truly end. Okay, that's the reason. That's supposed to be just two or three seconds of generation. Now I'm going to reset the value again. Uh, I'm going to regenerate this audio or this text to audio again. And I'll try to create another one with Eleven Labs so you can compare between this and Eleven Labs. Hello, Clara. Came the voice she'd been both dreading and longing to hear. And when she finally raised her eyes to meet his, she realized that some stories never truly end. All right, now let's do the same on Eleven Labs. This is the voice, and I'm going to be using the latest model as well, which is Eleven version 3. And let's try using the voice that sounded similar to the person. I must not fear. Hello, I'm Jane. Hey, everybody. This is Jude. Not she tore quite. her gaze away from her ruined footwear. Now, if you're ever down this way, don't be shy. Okay, I will try Austin, even though there is this version doesn't have the southern accent, but I want to try using this one. <coughs> All right. Now, uh, again, I'm going to be using the default setting. Okay, let me select Austin again. Okay, why I cannot select him as the voice? Okay, let's forget about that. Okay, let's try something else. Let's try the default voice from Elephant Labs. A single rose can be my guard. Okay, single friend in the world. Now let's uh, generate the speech and just wait for this AI to turn this text into audio or speech. Hello, Clara came the voice she'd been both dreading and longing to hear. And when she finally raised her eyes to meet his, she realized that some stories never truly end. Okay, it's very slow, but at least we got two generations. Let's play this one. Hello, Clara. Came the voice she'd been both dreading and longing to hear. And when she finally raised her eyes to meet his, she realized that some stories never truly end. Well, honestly, it sounds more expressive in my opinion, it sounds more emotional, but at the same time, the pace is a lot slower. And I'm using the version 3 and there is no option to make the audio to be faster or slower. In this case, it is too slow. I wish I could make it faster, but it is not available on this model. But it is available on the previous or uh, smaller model. But at the, at the end, I would say uh, there are some legitimate use cases of Minimax. If you want to get something that is cheap, it comes with a lot of features and customization, then I do recommend using Minimax Audio. I think it's a great alternative for Eleven Labs and you might even find it to be a lot better than Eleven Labs. So that's how you can use the text-to-speech feature from Minimax Audio. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.